This is a Union Safe Company product. The brand name is owned by Harbor Freight Tools. This is the 0.37 cubic foot electronic safe model number or item number 62980. They use item numbers in their catalogs. This thing is not marketed as a handgun safe, but I get people asking about these, so I'll share with you what I found. There are three issues I need to talk about, starting with this bypass lock. It's something called a double-sided or double-bitted wafer lock. I've compromised this very lock many times before on camera, and it can be opened without any special tools or skills. What I'm going to do is grab a coffee stirrer that I picked up at a Starbucks, shove it down the keyway. Then I'll angle it slightly, give it some tension as though I were turning a key and start rocking the wafers to the shear line. And that's all it takes. Now for the next issue. This keypad is held in place by four tiny screws. And I want to show you what you would find if you pried this fitting off with a screwdriver. Okay, I've removed the housing on the inside so that I could undo the screws holding this keypad in place. I want to return this thing when I'm done. I don't want to ruin it. And over here you can see three holes in the door for the LEDs to poke through. This is the same design flaw I found back in January of 2019 in the Sentry Safe uh, Model X055. And what I'll do now is push this LED out of the way. Um, and I actually have to kind of push on all of these LEDs uh, to move the circuitry board behind here out of the way. And now I'm going to unfold the paper clip, shove it in this hole right here, and try to press down on the solenoid pin. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Right here is the hole where I was able to push the LED aside and insert my paper clip uh, so that I could press down on the solenoid pin and release the bolt work. And this leads me to the third issue with this safe. The spring tension on this solenoid is very light. It's so light that you can bang on the top of this safe and cause the solenoid pin to bounce. So you can open this safe by banging on the top of it or if it's not bolted down, you can just give it a good shake. <laughs> 